With future trunks coming to Dragon Ball Super, timelines and universes are on a course of colliding with each other. But how is it that timelines and universes even relate in the world of Dragon Ball? Are they the same thing or something completely different? Hello there, beautiful friends. I'm your host, Black and Fist. Back in 2013, we got a little movie called Battle of Gods. Not only did it bring Dragon Ball into a new era, but it also introduced the biggest piece of world building that the series has received since it was revealed Goku was an alien. At the end of the movie, Beerus the God of Destruction unveiled there were 12 universes. This immediately sparked speculation with inquisitive fans. The possible implications that this could mean for the future direction of the series were extremely interesting. One of the main areas of concern were about the very nature of the Dragon Ball world. If we're introducing multiple universes to Dragon Ball, a series that already has multiple timelines, the inevitable question is, are universes and timelines the same thing? Well, here in this video, not only do I claim that universes and timelines are not the same thing, but it would be logically impossible for them to be the same thing. Unfortunately, the one thing that stagnated inquiry into this subject was that Battle of Gods did not give us any details of the nature of the universes, only that they just existed. We would have to wait until 2015 with the broadcast of Dragon Ball Super to get a proper explanation of the universes. And with Dragon Ball Super, the most important piece of information that was revealed is that the universes work in pairs. The pairs were determined by the universe numbers adding up to 13. For example, universe 6 plus 7 equals 13. The universe pairs would be extremely similar with only a few differences, akin to twins, meaning that each universe only had one other universe that was like itself very important. Timelines in Dragon Ball are a complicated and convoluted subject that honestly could take up a whole video on its own, but for the sake of this one, there are four timelines. The main timeline, the history of Trunks timeline, the timeline from which Cell came, and the Unseen timeline. And it is here that we get our first clue as to how this all works. It's really a simple numbers game. There are two universes that could be like each other, and four timelines. Because the universes only work in pairs, there is only one other universe that could be identical to itself. For Universe 7, the main universe that Dragon Ball takes place in, that would be Universe 6. So it is not possible for the four timelines to be other universes like 1 or 12 or 5, since the only other universe that is similar to 7 is 6. But we can go even further than this. Even for the sake of argument, if we focus in on the two most relevant timelines, the main timeline and the history of Trunks timeline, there would still be some continuity problems. Now one thing that would fit in perfectly with the puzzle piece is that the main timeline would obviously be Universe 7. This is the main timeline that we've been witnessing throughout all the series and of course the one universe that has been host to the entire Dragon Ball story so far. That all fits handy dandy. So does that mean the history of Trunks timeline could be Universe 6? Well unfortunately, the details that have been revealed in Dragon Ball Super put a damper on this theory already. When searching for Universe 6's Earth, Vados discovered there to be no life on the planet. Now one interesting piece of information is that history of Trunks roughly takes place around the same time that Goku and Vegeta were training with Whis. This means if Universe 6 is the history of Trunks timeline, then when Vados was checking up on Earth, she would have witnessed the androids terrorizing the planet, not a barren wasteland. This obviously means they cannot be the same thing. After all, the androids were killing off large portions of the human population, but they never wiped all life from the planet. So I think we have a pretty open and shut case. The timelines are not the other universes. So then the question is, what are the timelines? Now of course, Dragon Ball is Toriyama's franchise and he can write whatever he wants. But if we want to follow the logic that we have been given so far, the other timelines in the series that includes History of Trunks, The Unseen, the timeline from which Cell came, they would all have to be alternate versions 
of Universe 7. Now of course this concept might be a little hard to grasp at first because when we imagine a universe we just imagine a large space. So it's kind of hard to in picture that a universe contains within it multiple timelines, multiple versions of itself. And of course this opens the door clearly to multiple versions of the other universes. So this opens the door to a ton of other Dragon Ball stories that could probably be going on forever. But at this point, all the evidence, all the facts, points in that direction. Honestly, at this point, unless Toriyama writes something into the series that completely goes off into another zany direction, all the logical conclusions about how universes and timelines can only really be in this way. The other universes are not the other timelines, the timelines are just other versions of Universe 7 that are contained within that one universe. But anyway guys, I hope you got an understanding about the Dragon Ball world here, because because quite honestly, I've been wondering about this question ever since Battle of Gods. The only problem is, Battle of Gods didn't really give us a lot of information, but I was actually glad that is put to rest. And of course, with future Trunks returning and timelines seemingly going to be playing a much bigger role in Dragon Ball Super, I thought this was an important topic to cover since it's going to be relevant really soon. But until next time, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel as if I will be bringing more Dragon Ball content and videos like this one. But until next time, guys, I'm Black and Fist.